What is up guys? Welcome back to another video and as you can see we have an update right here. It is another insider build of Windows 11. So I'm going to download this thing, I'm going to install it, and we're going to come back with the changes. So stay tuned. What's up guys? Welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be checking out Windows 11 changes in the new build, which is 2200.100. So let's begin, shall we? First things first, they changed this from sharp corners to rounded corners, making it fit in with the UI a lot better. They've also added the ability to quick access focus assist. So when you click here, focus assist will now be up there. And as you can see, we clear all and it's gone. But if we go like this and we click again, there it is. When background activity from an app requires attention, the app will flash on the taskbar to get your attention in Windows 11. Now that's pretty cool. I'm going to show you what that looks like. So you'll see a little red dot below. And of course, it will flash on and off, on and off. Okay? Some things I can't show you. So instead, I thought I'd go a little more in depth. Uh, the touch keyboard icon in the taskbar has been adjusted to be more consistent with the size of other icons in the corner of the taskbar. Nice. The taskbar calendar flyout will now fully collapse down when clicking the chevron in the top corner. So right here, you can see I have it collapsed. You can go up and down like that. That's pretty cool. I'm glad they added that. Makes it more minimal. And they've also updated the app store so that when you click an app, you'll see a little animation. It will pop up from below. And they've also made the Windows Store faster and more reliable. So that is really nice to see and I'm glad. Now there's a lot of fixes and I'm not gonna go over them all because it would take too long. But there is an issue that you've all been wanting to get fixed for the longest time. It's where the clock would get stuck and out of sync. I have confirmed for you that that issue is now fixed. And there is a ton of other fixes that you can see right now. And they're all amazing. My favorite is this one. The biggest one of them all was when you clicked the clock, it would cause a crash after the click has been reversed. So that sucks that it crashed, but you know what? I'm glad that it's fixed. Now, the next issue that I'm hoping they fix is when you go here and you click this, that it actually brings you where do you want to go into the settings. I missed that, and I hope that gets fixed. So as always, guys, I'm going to leave this in the description below for you guys to go check out. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. It's been a short, sweet update, but I'm glad they fixed some major issues. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button, hit the like video, share the video. We are so close to 20,000 subscribers. I can't wait to get there, and I'll see you guys in the next video.